Uh, oh yeah. To my right? Oh, uh, yeah. I want to go... This way, I think? Once I get it here, it's it's easy. I'm just glad it's empty, because I totally rolled it over last time. Yeah, fall on your side, that'll be great. Honestly.
No, that's actually worse. Hold on. Hey, two talent, bring me gas when you get in. Hi, Mom. All right, I'll go. I'll go bring myself gas.
it was actually this one. How's your day been, Mom? Well, but God dang, that is productive. Holy cow. That was weird. Guess I was stuck in a rut or something? You're listening to a third podcast? You talk, is that like part three essentially? Of what we were talking about the other day? Keep me informed. Let me know what uh, what new stuff comes about, if any.
things get kind of dicey when you're hauling around like 650 gallons of fuel, huh? That stuff doesn't like to get jostled. Intellectually, I knew that, but like, I didn't know how much different it would be from driving uh, a regular load, and it's been a while since I've dri driven a fuel load. Like, I've already twisted the trailer. Always good. I honestly don't expect a lot from that podcast, but... A lot of podcasts in that particular genre just end up rehashing things that are already, uh, 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 like, publicly available. There are some exceptions to that rule, though. So... There you have it, I guess. Not too bad. He said Oh. Hello. How are you? Tired. Yeah. And you? I'm doing all right. Hold on, give me a second. I'm uh, gonna have to turn you up in Discord. So 
All right, say something for me. I moved my mic. Is that any better? A little. No, I understand how com rooms work. God, Discord. Is that louder? Uh, yeah, that seems good. Uh, I don't know why this mic... It's the same thing you got, well... It's the Blue Yeti. Yes, yeah, so it's the one I got. I filled up the uh, the gas truck at the entrance to Northern Aegis. It's like 90% full now. So when a test says um, take a fuel carrier semi-trailer to a site, it doesn't have to be the one it shows on the map. It doesn't have to be the one it shows on the map, but it has to be the same type that it shows on the map. So if it's a 700 gallon fuel carrier, it has to be a 700 gallon fuel carrier. What was that one you just filled up? I don't know, 900 something I think? Well, that, that one's also player created, so that's not going to be a, a normal one. Well, no, but it's, it's, I can use that one for the task. The one at the entrance to Northern Aegis? It's for, um, bare minimum. Hold on. I don't know what you're looking at here. Bare minimum? Yeah, it's under... What zone are you in? It's it's well it's in the um contracts under the Aimer Regional Administration. The fuck? And I was just gonna use that same thing and pull it from over here. Uh I mean yeah, I guess. Weird. I could have sworn that was a player dropped off one, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's been there for, from the, the game for the whole time. So do I need to bring one over there and swap it out with that one? I, I don't know. I mean, no, but you can bring one over here and finish the mission with the new one. Oh, I thought you said a, a player generator wouldn't work. I, I don't know. Oh. Ah, you're, what is up with your mic, dude? <laughs> your mic was crazy loud, so I turned you back down, and then you got really quiet again. Okay, there we go. I don't know. You might have, like, you might have done a Windows update, and it might have changed your microphone settings in Windows so that Windows tries to, like, auto-adjust your microphone volume. I've had to turn that off a couple of times, but it's fine right now. I wouldn't worry about it.
Sometimes having multiple monitors is a pain when you try to find your mouse. All right. Did you do something to your mic? I haven't touched it. Well, what was you doing now? I mean, it's it sounds louder and deeper. I haven't messed with any settings. All right, stand by. All right. I know you haven't messed with any settings. That doesn't mean settings have not been changed. Discord and Microsoft like to fuck with microphones. But it's fine. Don't change anything. I will adjust to you. So you're working on that fuel carrier one then, huh? Uh, yeah, I just started it. Okay. See how it works out. Yeah. Oh, but back back to what we were talking about with um, the player-created fuel carriers. It'll let you do it with a player-created fuel carrier. I didn't know that the game would mark a player-created fuel carrier on the map as a viable target. Oh. That's that's more along the lines of what I meant. So I'm guessing that's not actually uh, a player created one. Cross it. Okay. Man, your dog sneezes loud. I know she does. <laughs> uh, that's me. One of my dogs is not feeling good. I don't know what's wrong with her. Just feeling crappy? Uh, she's not eating. How long has it been? Uh, just today. Oh, okay. And she's a Dane, so they're picky. Well, animals. yeah. Yeah, but they also eat a lot, so it's it's also like... For a Dane not to eat, they gotta be not feeling good. Well, she's also 10 or 11 years old, so that's oh. old for a Dane. Yeah, yeah. She's getting up there.
Yeah, 10 to 12 is like the upper expectation, isn't it? Uh, yeah, if you're 12, they're really old. 10, they're getting old. 8 or 9 is, I think they say, the average. Oh, my wife just said today's her birthday, so she's 11. Well, snap. So she's an old girl. When I'm going around, um, I forgot what name I'm at. Hang on. Ersk Erska River. Yeah. And I'm taking that I that first ice path. Do I go up on which side of the bridge? Do I go past the little wooden bridge, or do I go over it? Where are you trying to go? Over to Aegis. Yeah, that's it. Your dog is depressed because you forgot her birthday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me look at your map. Hold on. I need to see where you're going. Oh. Okay. No, go up and across that little wooden bridge. I okay, guess you could. Well. I guess you could go around if you wanted. If it's easier for you, it doesn't really matter. You could go underneath, and then back up the hill. But I usually go across that wooden bridge. Okay. Quite a bit further. Okay. Do I have this mission? Remind me after the stream and I'll send you my Discord audio settings. Okay. I think I think I need to erase um, or delete Logitech. I think that's screwing up my crap. What do you have Logitech for? I got the G Hub for my flight stick, the steering wheel, and I and my mic is hooked to it as well. To the software? Yeah. Why that Logitech your... software sucks ass. Why is your mic hooked to the Logitech software? Because it's a Logitech product. I guess Yeti Blue or Blue Yeti sold out to Logitech and it's part of the Yeti or part of the Logitech G Hub. Uh, weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't use any software for my mic. I just use Windows. That's got me wondering, is it actually it's gonna bother me? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, weird. It does look like Logitech bottom. Yeah, you don't need any Logitech so software for the mic. I don't use it. Do I have to remove the hardware or the software, or can I just remove it from the software? I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't use the software, so I couldn't tell you. I would assume you could tell you could remove it from the software, just unlink it. But 
I don't know. I mean, really, I don't use the software anyways. You just change the key binds in the game, not the key binds for the item. Right. I just wish Logitech would fix their software. They will not. They never have, they never will. The software is not what makes them money, so they have no real incentive to fix it. It's unfortunate, but... Yeah, I, I, it's funny, because I don't hear it when I'm driving, but if I, like, pause the game and tab out, I hear your mic constantly trying to kick in and, and play, even though there's nothing happening. It's funny. <laughs> well, I did turn my gain up. Oh, so you did make changes. Well, that was before you asked me if I made changes. What? <laughs> yeah, of course it was. Because <laughs> when I asked, did you make changes, you wouldn't make changes after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, god no, I mean it was I made the change at the beginning of you having problems with my volume not after you made the adjustments in discord today right yeah okay see when I asked if you made changes I meant did you make changes today <laughs> not within the last 10 seconds okay that's funny Come on, don't roll over, you turd. Okay. I'm having the same conversation. Yeah, I know, right? Did you turn your game back down? A little bit, yeah. So it's not hot mic the whole time. Don't be smiling. Smiling because I have to adjust Discord again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. It also reminds me of like this really common. I've had a couple of customers call me about this really common problem they're having now. I don't know what it is about people. Uh, a, a lot. It's it seems to be really common that people will know the website to a particular, like to whatever they want to go to, but rather than going to that website, they go to Google and type in the website and then click the link that Google gives them. That's like a really common thing. So like people are like, I was trying to go to Amazon, so I went to Google and I typed in Amazon.com and then I clicked on the link that Google gave me. And I'm like, why did you go to Google and search for Amazon.com? You already know the website. Just type in Amazon.com. Like you're, I'm guilty of that. You're making so much more work for yourself. <laughs> but there's a really common thing where on Google, like the top three or four results are always ads. Yep. Uh, and the problem is, is that a lot of, a lot of those ads are being recoded, uh, to be fake virus alerts. So somebody will go to Google, type in amazon.com and then click on the first Amazon advertisement, which is supposed to take you to Amazon anyway, but they get taken over by the advertising companies and then they redirect you to a website that looks like it's telling you you have a virus and you need to clean your computer. But that's not actually what has happened. It's just a fake website. And a lot of people start freaking out because they're like, oh my God, I've got like 50 pop-ups that all say I'm infected. It all happened within three seconds of me clicking this link. But it's definitely not connected to me clicking on something. And customers all the time, I'll ask them, I'm like, all right, so what did you do right before 
you got this pop-up and they're like nothing i didn't do anything and i'm like okay so you were just sitting at your computer and the uh the, the thing came up yeah that's right and i'm like okay and like i know they're not telling me the truth so i just fix i fix the thing i install a couple of ad blocks that take those fake that take those advertising search options away and then I'm like, okay, now do what you were doing beforehand. And they're like, okay, cool. So what I did is I went to Amazon and I, or I typed in, I went to Google and typed in amazon.com. And I'm like, so you did do something before this ad came up. And they're like, well, yeah. And I'm like, that's what I was asking you. Like, oh, well, I didn't want to tell you because I thought I might be in trouble. And I'm like, I'm not like, uh, I just want to fix your problem. I'm not like wanting to get into drama and get you guys in trouble with your boss. Just. Tell me what you did so I can fix it and hang up the phone. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. I don't like talking to customers. Why do you think I want to start drama with your boss? Like that's the last thing I want to do is call your boss and tell your boss that you were you were stupid enough and it's a serious concern. Like no. You clicked on a bad link. Okay, I can fix that with AdBlock. I fixed it with AdBlock. That's the end of our conversation. Not yeah, calling. I figured that out. We'll watch for those ads and sponsored craps. The only people I give a really hard time about when they click on bad stuff is people that I know should know better. Like, because I've worked with them for years or whatever. This path was not made for a semi-trailer. Most of them aren't. Yeah. I'm stupid. Yeah, that seems to be, I guess that's like a common misconception of IT people's uh, users are very afraid to tell us what they did. See, I don't have that. Like, people who lie to doctors or lawyers or you're somebody who's trying to help you, you lying to them is not in your benefit. No, you're making it worse. Yeah. Have you done drugs? Yes, a lot of them. But... Yeah, yeah, it's, we were just, I think we were actually just talking about that the other day. I don't know if it was on stream or if it was, like, Cappy and I talking about it, but we were, we were discussing the whole, that exact topic of, like, going to your doctor and lying to them about illegal drugs, and it's like, the doctor could not care less what drug, what illicit drugs you've been taking. Like, they just want to make sure that if they give you another drug to help you with your health concern, they're not going to kill you. Yep. It's like, that's all they want. They're not going to be like, oh my god, this guy did crack? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my friends about this. Like, they see that every day. They don't care.
Oh, that was a fucking tree. Yo, what's up, schnitzel? Oh, sh How are you gonna do that, man? That's some bullshit. That's not even what I want. There we go. Yeah, this thing sucks. Just the physics in this game is just stupid. Why are you doing that? Fuck me, dude. That's not how physics works. No! No, fuck you, you're coming with me. Yeah, at the moment, I couldn't care less if it was right side up or not. That is the least of my concerns. Mm -hmm.
Like, if it goes right side up, great. But if it doesn't, fine. I'll deal with it. It moves better on its wheels? Well, yeah, of course it does, but... It certainly wasn't... The same thing you are. It certainly wasn't moving better on its wheels uh, earlier. Money will turn. Are you doing that? Hello? There we go. Now let's see if I can get this fuel tank back on its side, or it wheels. Got it. Oh my god! What are you? Oh my! Ah! Fucking camera, dude.
All right, look, Rock, you have to cooperate one way or the other. Thank you. Do they have a service truck where you can bring tires with you to swap out tires, like, no. in a different location? Oh, That'd be handy. You're at, you're, you're asking about changing tires, correct? Yeah, like, if no. I have chains on there, you gotta have a truck that brings nope. out mud. Nope. Would be awesome, but they don't. Alright, now let's try this. When you want to take a break, can you fuel me? Yeah. If I get over there and you have like 80% of a fuel tank, I'm going to be mad. No, I'm at 14 or 15 gallons. Tell me when you're ready. Hang on. Uh... Okay. This guy's driving a fuel tank. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. What do you think you've got behind you? What's that got to do with anything? You can refuel. No, the game won't let me refuel. What the hell is your truck? Oh. You're missing one gallon. Uh... Not in my game, I wasn't. I was at 14. I promise I was at 14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get back in there again. Why do you do I this? If it, I wonder if it let me fuel up when I tried and then didn't ever register. I really did have 14 when you said I better not have 50. I went back and looked. Now, stupid truck. What are you? Fuck. Oh, I was still attached. Never mind. I was the stupid one. No, don't do that, do that. Alright, trailer. I swear to god, if you roll if you slide, I'm gonna be mad. Why are you sliding? You wanna catch on everything except the ground. Yes. Now it stop sliding. Fuck me sideways, dude.
Fuck this fucking trailer, man. Jesus fuck. Thank you, was that so hard? Oh. No! Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah! 
Fuck me over. <laughs> 